Alrighty, <laughs> yo, what is up, knights? Each is Rick here, back with some more DFO Blitz. This time on my rogue. Yes, delete thief rogue. I am playing my rogue right now, guys, and you know, as much shit talking I do on the stream about my classes, rogue has not been an exception, but that hasn't stopped me from actually being as hypocritical as possible and, and playing it and enjoying playing it. And rogue I would consider as one of my top favorite characters in all of DFO in terms of the design of the class and how fun it is to play. But anyway, guys, I haven't uh, tried too hard on her, but you can see some of the minor efforts I've tried to get on her. I've gotten a Gracia set farmed on her. Nothing more than just the six pieces I farm. Usually when I am really into a character, I'll get them a full 10-piece Gracia. Not to wear, but mostly if I get an Epic to replace it, I'll easily be able to and still maintain the Gracia. Uh, I do have a Liberation Dagger, which I did just now make Liberation pretty recently here. But currently, guys, I'm actually trying to farm up uh, the uh, Metro Center fish, fish Set. I've talked about this set before and why I like it so much. I think it's a really awesome set. If you actually go over here to Hunter Vaughn and pay him a visit, he has an Area Legendary. And these three Legendaries right here are accessories. They're not a really a set effect, but they are the fish. We just call it fish set because look at, they're all fish type items here. Let's go these fish ball armlet and all that. You can see I have the fish ring. I'm currently trying to get the pendant so I can replace my force hidden top or necklace here. I don't know actually whether or not this will be stronger or not, but you know what? Time will tell when I actually get it and try it out because farming this is very easy. If you go to Pi and you pick up her limited quest, which you can do every day, you can get 90 of the purification stones of which the Hunter Vaughn is asking for. He's asking for 400, so obviously it's going to take you a five day farm with some change left over to get that legendary. So it's, uh, you know, like I said, four days for farming this uh, quest that she's having you do, which the quest, basically what it's asking is do all five dungeons. So uh, I usually do them at expert difficulty, and that's what we're going to do on this character. And I'm going to get her to fish set just because, you know what, it's a legendary set, and I, I want it. Uh, you guys saw I casted the first awakening right away there. Uh, that's mostly uh, how this class plays now. I don't. I think the last time I made my DFO rush video, this was not how this class played at all. Uh, she did not have infinite cast on her her first awakening, so uh, she, you know I had to use it pretty sparingly. Now you can you you don't even have to worry about the length of the dungeon or whether or not you're going to be able to clear it because she has infinite duration on her first awakening. You will always have this speed. And it is really nice, a really convenient uh, kind of feature to have on this character because uh, I think without it, she's heavily gimped. And you obviously, you know, what situations are you going to be in where you don't want to be in the first awakening? I mean, you get a lot of benefits. You know, your hit end is obviously easy to rack up when you're in this mode, you know, stuff like that. So second awakening, as strong as ever. In fact, I, I might be, you know, I have to increase the difficulty or something because can't be killing bosses in one second. It's not going to make for a very interesting video, so I'll try to increase the difficulty a little bit. But usually when I farm this to try to get the fish set, guys, I am uh, at a higher difficulty. Or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, at this difficulty, I'm just kind of doing it to breeze by. We'll do King. I don't know if I'm confident enough to do Slayer uh, quickly, but... Anyway, I've been doing this kind of uh, farming on a lot of my characters, actually. Uh, it's been kind of my go-to set as of now for, you know, the characters that have legendaries only, uh, and even the characters who don't, uh, you know, even if they have a few off epics. These are legendaries that I feel like are strong enough on their own. Remember, they're still level 90, you know, so their raw stats in general are pretty dang good. Uh, so it just makes sense that, um, you know, you use them if you don't have anything else to replace them. Like I said, I'm kind of testing whether or not it's better than the Force Hit End pieces, but it seems like it might be, so who knows. What better way than to just try it, guys? But especially when it's an easy set to farm like this one, so. Uh, anyway, guys, you guys already, if you guys have seen the Rush video, then you guys already know the thing with this class. It's all about the Hit End system, and uh, it's a really awesome system. Right now, I'm kind of cheating because I'm uh, just grouping enemies together. Uh with my newly acquired uh, assist which by the way is going to get deleted i guess i kind of don't want to cause a, no cause for alarm here right but the assist system the support system is going to get removed so i might as well abuse it as much as i can got a really good uh, aoe suction type move which is great because i think rogue kind of i wouldn't say that's her forte really honestly her, her grouping potential her aoe potential is 
pretty dang weak. I gotta say she has a lot better time against small groups of, of enemies and single target uh, mobs. More so than, you know, slightly grouped out enemies. So, like, which is what we're mostly fighting anyways. Uh, here you can still see, uh, do really good on this guy, so. And if I wanted to just wipe him out one second, that's where the second awakening comes in with the hit in at the end. Bing, you're dead. I knew it was going to happen anyway. Good run right there. And maybe a change that I haven't really talked about is, because I don't remember the last time I made a rush video in a regular dungeon, but, uh, or a blitz video in a regular dungeon, but the terrarium at the end is all located at the final boss room. I, just, I don't think that's a point I've, oh shit, I went to easy difficulty. I don't think that's a point I've made as of late uh, because that's actually a really big consideration when you talk about grinding these dungeons for the boss cards. The boss cards are one of the best elemental damage cards you can get in the game. It, actually, I believe they are, normal especially, but if you're trying to get, you know, specialize in one element type, then Domina Haley, Normal, and Grego are all top cards. You know, you can't, can't really beat them. So basically comes an issue of actually trying to farm them and trust me it's it's been a I want to say an economical uh, logistical whatever it's been a nightmare trying to get these things it's it's not very easy uh, it's been uh, if you're if you're lucky enough to get it, it's worth like 100 mil kind of deal 90 mil or some shit it is very very sought out and it's you know People have to farm this as religiously as in the past when I talked about on my Nen video as Grandine farming. And it actually is competing with it now in terms of, I think it's actually beating it in terms of viability in terms of if you actually want to grind it or not. So I wanted to make that point at some point because uh, grinding it, you know, I, I talk about this all the time on the stream. I, I wonder why people ever farm Grandine nowadays since there's stuff to do. But anyway, I don't want to bring that point up here. Uh, but there's a lot of good stuff to be had here in these uh, higher regions, so I gotta say there. So, uh, and the terraniums definitely help in the boss room because it helps uh, farming terranium, which you actually need for stuff like econ that I showed in my skirmisher video and all of that. So, yeah, I've already used my second awakening, so I can't cheat and use it again. I can use all my skills though, and she's teleporting. Let's hit her with the grab. Notice I don't like, I like her strike skills more than I like her grab skills, but at least this one's pretty quick and abusive. Luckily, the, like you can tell, I don't have, uh, what is that skill? You know, the one where she, Sonic Assault, I think it's called? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't actually have Sonic Assault. I don't like it, that's why I don't have it. I think the command is, I don't even know the command, so... I don't like using it, so I'd rather get, you know, Chainsaw and whatever low-tier build that you, I got. Because, uh, you know, those are the skills I enjoy a little bit more on this class. Sonic Assault is, has its uses. I have it at level 1, maybe just for whole potential. And, and, quite frankly, I just don't like the animation, so I'd rather just, you know, rely on Excel. Luckily for me, Excel is a lot faster now. I don't remember when, how fast it was in the last time I made a video for this class, but... You know, I think it was much slower, it wasn't usable, so... Again, I might be thinking of changes that are like a year old now, Rick. It's like, how old are these fucking changes to your Rogue? But, whatever, whatever, how old the changes are, this is how Rogue plays now. So if you're watching this video and you're like, should I play Rogue? Well, this is how she plays now, always has a first awakening, always has hella speed, which, honestly, at this point, I can maybe consider a, a con. It, it is something that's not... Uh, it's something that makes this class challenging, I'd say, is her speed is too fast. Uh, an example I like to give is try to use your uh, Shining Cut three times in succession and changing their direction every time. It's not easy. It's it's one of the hardest things to do. It's hard to even go straight with that. I had to hit it three times in succession, but what about left, right, left? It, it, it is crazy hard to do because of the speed. Uh, you don't have a lot of, like, you have to deliberately do it, and even if you know you're going to do it like that, uh, it almost feels like it's just too fast. You know, it's, it's just like, I can't even think about it. You see, I, it, it's something that requires skill, and you can tell when you fuck it up. Like, the same thing with the Chain Rush skill, or Chainsaw, uh, chainsaw skill, I think it's called. Chain, chain Rush is my Elven Knight, sorry. Uh, you have to actually time the skill. You can't really... 
you, know, you see what happens? It, it just ends early if I don't perfectly time the skill. It's something that's, you know, reliant on the speed of the class. See right there, if I want to get a full chainsaw, I gotta actually time it. Which I, I'm not complaining about. I want to say that right now, I'm not complaining about it. I actually really, really think it's it's a great part of the class. It's a benefit in my book that the class has a little bit of complexity like that. It's something that uh, skilled rogues are going to have, and they're going to have practice, and they're going to understand the timing of the chainsaw. They're going to understand the timing if they want to move with the, with the shining cut, and they want to move, and we go into Slayer here, and they want to move like a, like a swift master and even move diagonally, you can do that. But you gotta be skilled at casting that, you know, you gotta be skilled at maneuvering that, and you gotta be intentional in what you you do. It's what separates the men's from the boys when it comes to this class. It's something that, I, like how I talked about with my, uh, let's see, I cast my buff here. When I talked about the, the Berserker, it's like, this is something that separates good rogues from bad ones, right? It's like, maybe bad ones wouldn't use Chainsaw because they realize that they're not able to get all three hits of it. Where, as other rogues, they, they would use it, so... You know, I'm not... Uh, things like the back step into the uh, Aslant Spiral, that's something that you could do, but you gotta practice that. There is some timing involved. There's some minute timing involved here, is what I'm getting at, guys. Like, again, you have to basic attack cancel your skills to get a hit in, a contact point. That's kind of minor stuff, too. You know, there's a lot of that little stuff here. You want to get down to the ground, use Shiny Cut to kind of teleport or kind of dash to the ground. Use the triple dash. Everything, guys. Everything I'm, ta I'm talking about right now is a layer of complexity that the class has to deal with. There is timing involved with this class due to her speed. It's something that I really enjoy, and I think it's part of the reason why I think she is the one of the highest technical classes in the game, is the stuff like that. There's a little bit of, like, hit stop when you hit an enemy kind of, that may possibly throw the timing off. Right there, uh, missing with the contact or the hit end addition. I love that. I love that about classes in this game. And trust me when I say there are not a lot of classes that are like that. As I just mess up chainsaw, there are not a lot of classes in this game that really have to worry about that. Which is, you know, fine. You know, you can have your easy face roll classes, but then on the flip side, you got to have your hard, tough classes that nobody, you know, not just any scrub that's picked up your account or picked up the character is going to be able to do. Oh shit. Okay. Am I gonna die? It's gonna separate the men's from the boys here. I didn't hit the great axe. The guy I wanted to hit. Okay, we go. Get out of here. So, you know, it's something that, like I said, I, I keep saying it's, it's really awesome that this class has that and why I think she's one of the more fun characters to play in this game. I'm not even letting her summon. Gonna hit it with all kinds of shit. Okay, finally, I think she got her dragon summon off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. She's using her awakening on me, and I'm dead. That was a shame. I thought I was gonna get it without dying. All right, this will get her though. All right, I was close. I was close. If I didn't get blasted there, I would have done fine. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There was a little bit of rogue action. Thought I was gonna make it. Thought I was gonna be a hero. Turns out I'm only, you know, a semi-hero when it comes to this. I'm, I'm trying, trying, but I ain't good enough. But anyway, guys, hopefully I was able to show off the rogue a little bit, how she plays now, and why I consider, her, you know, a technical class that deserves a lot of. Uh, I think if you play rogue, I think you know you have that kind of. You like that about the class, right? If you didn't like that about the class, I, I, I think. Uh, there are other classes that you would enjoy more, I think. It's the main thing that draws you to the class. It's like Chain Rush on the on the Elven Knight. It's his character speed and how she can chain skills together and that small nuances in her skills that make her really enjoyable to play. And if you didn't like that, you'd pick another class. If you didn't like Chain Rush, you wouldn't play Elven Knight. Trust me. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There was rogue, a little rogue action. I still think you should delete all thieves. I think the whole of DFO would be better without thief. But, you know, if we have to keep thief... At least we got Rogue in our back pocket. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you nights later.